Ladies and gentlemen, boys, wait. I got soda cans and I got flurry. I got flurry. Let me turn them the right way. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the most pop tarts, the most amazing goaltender ever, 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 Mark. Andre Fleury. Fleury, how did you do tonight? I did good. Oh, man. I, you did great. Oh, and our boys didn't let you down, baby. Woo! Yeehaw! The Golden Knights played the Minnesota Wild for game two of these playoffs in round one. And they have split the series one and one now. And they will travel to uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I think it's in Minneapolis. And they will play in the Wilds territory now. Boy, oh boy. I hope they do well because they've never won against the Wild in Minnesota. In Minnesota. In Minnesota. I think that's what it was. It was. Uh, and, uh, hmm. Pirates amazing. Uh, the, of course, they're 40, 14, and 2. They've split the series, as I said. Mark Andre Fleury made, is now 1 and 1 in the postseason. And he has made he made thirty four saves tonight, baby. Oh, boy, baby, five saves. Let me tell you. Congratulations, Flurry. I go play. All right. Oh, baby, that was a good game. Now look, Flurry had to make uh, had to make a lot of saves. Seventeen in total. He started be he he started uh, he has started to be more behind the net, um, which has I think helped him a lot. Right. I think it's really done wonders for him. Now. Uh, you know, the offense in the first period couldn't, uh, score for Fleury. They couldn't score for him. They couldn't generate any chances and they, they couldn't keep control of the puck. They kept turning it over. In fact, in the first off, uh, uh the first, uh, face off win. Yeah. The first face off win, they almost gave it up. They almost let the puck go. And so look, uh, Fleury was being peppered. Uh, during the game, I mean, he was just being hit, hit, and hit, and it was going crazy. I mean, man, was he doing an amazing job! It, and look, it, it was it was good. They didn't let it go through until the second period. Now let's go over this: twelve minutes and let's see, twelve minutes and seven seconds. Matt Dumba scores a goal, assisted by Jonas Brodeen. Making it one to zero, Minnesota. Now Minnesota finds the puck. Uh, Foligno's uh, Foligno is stopped, so he has to be defended. And so then you've got three wild players on the boards, and therefore you know it gives them enough space. Uh, and and the flower unfortunately couldn't save that. I I tried. I know you tried, buddy. I love you. All right. Now, he talks a lot more now, so I, I hope you, those of you who have watched, you've noticed. At 12 minutes and 25 seconds, just 18 seconds after that first goal, Jonathan Marcheseau scored a goal with the assists of Riley Smith and William Carlson, making it 1-1. to -one tied game at 17 minutes and 19 seconds. Alex Tuck scored a goal with the help of Matthias Janmark and Alex Petrangelo, making it 2-1 Knights. Now the Knights finally scored in the, in, in the second period, in this period here, uh, they figured out Talbot. They were like, here we go. We got it. Carlson had the puck a bit. Uh, he had the puck a bit more, possessed it more. Smith was playing more quickly. It, it relieved pressure from the Knights. They played more confidently. And, and that, was, that was incredible. Gave them the juice that they needed. Finally, when Marshall scored that goal, it was incredible. And then you had Dumba. D uh, who did his job blocking shots against the Knights. He put his body on the line. He 
you know, getting Vega, getting the VGK uh, frustrated. He got Vegas frustrated for sure. Now Vegas got their rush game going. Uh, of course, they get more confident after the first goal, as I said, and they needed to be more uh, efficient on the rush. And Vegas did do that. Now uh, Yanmark steals the puck efficiently in this period. He gets. Uh, now he gets. Uh, it, the puck gets loose, and then he gets it to Tuck. Tuck taps it in, and that's exactly how that goal was scored. Right now, we go to the third period. The third period, the Wild almost had a chance to score and tie the game. Now Haig gets caught up. This is just one of the chances. One of the players use uh, on the Wild uses his speed to give him, him give him some space. He gets to Rask. Rask shoots, but the play is stopped by my man, Mark Andre Fleury. Oh. I love you, Fleury. Woo! Oh, man. As you can tell, I'm, I'm just a nut for 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 uh, Mark Andre Fleury. Now, at one point, the Knights, uh, a Knights player uh, got the puck. Uh, between the pads of Cam Talbot, Cam Talbot didn't even know where it was. The puck was still loose. So then you had uh, Mark Stone come in. So Stone swoops in, uh, uh, comes in, takes the puck, but then st- tries to dash in and shoot it. But top uh, Cam Talbot stops the play. Uh, so that was an incredible chance by Mark Stone right there. Uh, so look, as I can tell you. Both teams had amazing chances. And in fact, before this next go by, the Vegas Golden Knights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Woo. Um, Dumba, I think it was Dumba, just tried and he just went, whoosh, shot the puck. And But Mark andre Fleur was like, no. And he just, he did it. He stopped it, baby. Now we go to 18 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. There was a two-minute penalty given to Kirill Kaprizov, one of the most dangerous players on the Wild team, uh, for tripping Jonathan Marchezo, who scored the first goal. And then in 19 minutes and 7 seconds, I had to make sure, 19 minutes and 7 seconds, Alex Tuck scores a power play goal with the help of Mark Stone and Chandler Stevenson making it three to one nights. Now Stevenson makes a beautiful pass to Tuck. Tuck goes from behind the net to in front of the net, and then Brodeen is with him. Tuck slides away from him, uh, takes uh, the pass from Stevenson and puts it in. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Ow! Now. The Knights have to do this one more time. They need to win this next game on Thursday. I'm excited. Let me take a drink of soda here. Mm. You know what? I got another one right here. Mmm. This soda is actually from the Vegas Golden Knights. Whew. Oh, baby. What a game that was. You have no idea how loud I was. I was like, yeah! A lot louder than that. And I sent my dad a message going, yeah! Boy, that was amazing. Ow! As you can tell, I'm very excited. <laughs> the Golden Knights did win. I thought they, they look... They could have controlled the puck better in the first period. Um, fl- the flower was doing absolutely everything, and you know, look, Matt, and and and, it's, and so I, I before I get to Matt Dumba, look, I just think that the Golden Knights need to do a little bit better at defending the puck and defending the flower because look, he can't just do it all himself. Can't do it all. But look, I'm happy that in the second period they found their juice, they got inspiration, and they kept the Wild at one. Flurry couldn't have saved that one. Nothing else you could do. But hey, Tuck even got it further ahead. And the Knights split it one-to-one. 
after being behind 1-0 and avoiding a two see of a two uh series against Hull. So Golden Eyes win, baby! Sorry, just, <laughs> I kind of I was trying to do this, but hitting that button right there. Anyway, uh, Knights win. I'm excited. We're gonna see what happens on Thursday night. By the way, Thursday night, I'm I'm gonna be super excited. It's gonna be so good. <laughs>